video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation. Now hiring class one drivers in the residual division in Preston, Kelowna, West Kootenays, and Vernon. Logging truck division in Castlegar. Also international, Kettle Falls, Washington, Priest River, Idaho. Some office jobs or I guess internal position. They call it internal positions. It can also be like supervisors out on the field and stuff, I get. Um, health and safety manager in Salmo or Nelson. Inside sales representative in Kelowna. Logistics broker in Kelowna. Maintenance manager, heavy equipment. Remote transportation broker in Alberta, Manitoba, Ontario, and in Vancouver. That's they've they've upped that one to a couple more on there. That's kind of nice. See, you can work for Sutco all over Canada and starting in the U.S. as well. And then another sales representative in Kelowna. What's the difference between a sales representative in Kelowna and an internal sales representative in Kelowna? Apparently, two positions. Anyway, <laughs> head head on over to uh, Sutco. Nope, nope, nope. Head over to thesutherland.group slash join our team. See everything else that's posted up there. There's always new positions coming and going. So come and uh, ride along with us. Good morning. It's been a Monday, guys. It's been a Monday. It looks like it's sealed up, but I've been getting a lot of uh, fluid right out of the truck here. First day back from vacation and everything was wet and a big puddle on the ground. My coolant was really low. So I just pulled over to check. And it's sealed up. So it seems like when that O-ring gets uh, hot, it seals, but that's where I'm leaking all my uh, coolant, right through that uh, fitting right there. So that's why when I turn the truck off overnight, I'm losing coolant. I guess first thing when I start up the truck. Huh? You can say it now. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, 11 a.m. We already went to Kelowna, loaded this half load of... Uh, let's turn here. Yep. Oh my, that intersection looks busy. And this load's not going to go through there when that intersection's busy. So, welcome to Penticton. I'm gonna take the scenic route. It's a vu almost for me. All right, so it's been a heck of a Monday. Man, a Monday's after vacation just hit different. <laughs> got to the truck today early morning. Jess and I got up really early. Got to the truck. Stone cold dead battery, wouldn't start up. Also, our coolant was put it like a jug in there. A coolant and huge puddle under the truck, like I was showing you there. So I guess my theory is the O-ring cools off when we shut the truck off. 
and when we turn the truck on you start pumping coolant through the cold o-ring and it leaks like crazy as soon as the coolant is hot it's sealed mm -hmm. and that's why i can never find where it's leaking mm -hmm. it has to be leaking while idling right when you so when i do a pre-trip and i'm not idling the truck i wouldn't be able to see it when I'm doing the pre-trip and the truck is idling, I would have to pay, have it idling long enough to see the leak. And that's why I'm not seeing the leak because I'm not idling it long enough. Today, because the battery was stone cold dead, I had to do the rest of my pre-trip while the truck was idling. So it was idling there for 10, 15 minutes. Truck would pick a gear here. There we go. Yeah, it was 15 minutes of idling there. And that's why you can see it just dripping out. Drip, 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 drip. I'm like, that's it. That's it. That's where the leak is. So yeah, dead battery, got a leak. Had a road closure up by the rock slide between, both, or I guess just north of Summerland. Some of mountain goats. Like Lots of mountain goats up there. I was like, I wish we were recording. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, at least 15. They were pretty down low, like you see them very, very close. The mountain goats, the big, the big white ones, the big shaggy white ones. I thought you had moved that while I was stopped. Why would no. I, I, I didn't go back there. Oh, I assume you had to go back there to get my camera. No, I could reach from here, you know. I put the paperwork right on the edge of the bed, that's why it's all falling off. You have tethers on those, so all you have to do is grab them. Monday's turning around. And then dispatch called and asked if I can deliver this today still. I'm like, what? On the dispatch it says delivery tomorrow. Well, if we can deliver this today, we can load today and head over to Abbotsford. I'm like, huh? I think we can unload this today. I don't know how late the other place will be open to load, but we'll give it a try. But I kind of rely on the uh, communication you dispatch gives me and plan on it. You actually have two drops, one's in Delta. Oh, so Abbotsford is not, so is the first drop in Abbotsford, second drop in Delta. So I have to go all the way to the beach then. Okay. Is this island? Okay. I think I'm saying that right. I think so too. And then of course with all the chaos in the morning I forgot stuff at home and that's why we looped through Penticton instead of taking Highway 33. It's a bit of a detour but I need all my stuff on the road so stop by at home. Stopped in West Kelowna to do a retorque and we need to stop somewhere for fuel yet. Probably Grand Forks. And it's a cloudy, overcast day. It's, it's a Monday for sure. Rubbed it or maybe just rubbed it. That corner is 
you definitely need full three lanes. Well, the corner is rounded, so really it's three and a half lanes. To turn, to turn a 53 footer, you need three and a half lanes. Three lanes if the corner is rounded. Skaha Lake on our left hand side there. Jess is busy reading. I'm oh, talking to Kiram. Ah, oh, you talked to Kiram. We uh, live stream. Uh, on weekends, we live stream and just talk with. Honestly, I, th I think there's very few overlap of people watching these videos and the people that come join our live streams every Saturday, Sunday morning. But if you guys ever want to ask me anything live, check us out on the other, the three J's on a Sunday and Saturday morning. Saturday and Sunday morning? There, that sounds better. There's links down in the description below to our other two channels. If you hear a strange voice, it's just one's brother. Yep, three J's. Because there's three of us that host on that. Uh, Jess will do live streams on that channel, and my brother James will do live streams on that channel. So the three J's and Kiram is also a YouTuber that we are starting to work with to collab with. And that channel's got like 250 subscribers, give or take 260. So it's pretty small potatoes. All of a sudden she's like what well, stop stop she wants to say something right after she takes a big mouthful of food and then I have to wait two minutes for her to finish eating that mouth of food full food mouth mouth food yeah food 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 and then uh, then I'm like what am I stopping for what's important it's like oh well she, it's important to me but she always does it right after taking a full mouthful of food Sam a film me bringing up something just as I'm eating. No, that's definitely a new problem. You're not putting that on me. I definitely am. Is there a window open in the back? What's that rattling wind noise? It, it's the, it's all the shrink wrap on the on the uh, insulation. It's like a buzzing. I, I can't explain it. Um, I would say crack your window open like a half a centimeter, just so that you get the barely get the wind noise. It's kind of the wind noise we hear from all the shrink wrap back there, but it's slightly different. It's, it's definitely a unique sound. Oh, so you say that we don't have bunk heat, right? And we have no bunk heat. Yeah. yeah. The bunk heat didn't get fixed. I am not looking forward to that. I'll spend a whole week at the shop while we're on vacation and the bunk heat did not get fixed. Also, I requested the... Uh, leaking uh, coolant to be fixed too, but I asked Kenworth, it's like, yeah, there's nothing on the paperwork here to have it fixed. I'm like, I told, 
I told the company communication is definitely something we need to we need to work on at Sunco. The amount of mistakes that could be fixed, the errors that could be fixed due to lack of communication. I'll just not say I agree with I'll keep it very professional. <laughs> I love Sutko. I do. But communication could be could be worked on. Absolutely. People saw the ad read at the beginning of the video, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't shot it yet, but the people have seen it already. Oh, okay. I, I, it's all planned out. I'll just go with it. <laughs> I was like, wait, maybe I missed it. I know. This this video is sponsored by Sutco, and I'm airing my grievances about Sutco. I know. You know what? You guys get exactly honest, the real thing. Ah, the scale might be open. Saw CBSE coming down earlier, so. Even if there's too much chatting, we'll do that too. How we get on that? Oh, that we're, no. we're, we're just going to be how we are. We're just going to be the way we're going to be. Even if I'm sponsored, I'm going to air all my grievances. The good and the bad. You get to hear it all. The good and the bad. When I'm loving the job or when I'm frustrated with the job. Honestly, if you go through my videos, how often do I complain about the job? Not often. Any job that you can complain that little about, I think is a really, really good job. And then how often do I try to change topics too? See? Why are you trying to change topics? I know. We're talking about how awesome Sutko is. Especially when you're sick or something like that. They get your back so fast. They do. And they treat me like family too. Yes. There's no reason to treat Jess like family. There's no reason to... She doesn't work for Sutko. She doesn't... There's no reason for them to even allow her to come on with. And we get home every weekend. How many trucking companies do you get home every weekend? And we were driving home on Saturday. How many trucks on the Yeah. Road? There was a lot of trucks on the highway on Saturday. We drove. We didn't take you guys with us on vacation except for the bonus video. The bonus video before all the vacation videos, we, we, we took you guys through Jasper National Park. But we didn't take you guys with us on vacation this time. Which means I'm completely out of extra videos. I need to record extra videos just in case we break down or sick or whatever, right? Or even for our next vacation, depending on what that is going to be. Don't go cheats in us. Because that's going to be a staycation too. And if we don't have the videos well, then we'll just shoot short little updates on what's going on. But used up all our old extras videos. My newest thing is Lego. Lego. Man, that Lego is awesome. I shared that Lego video with you guys, yeah, two weeks ago, I think. Well, there'd be more because we bought more Lego. Because we found Lego Land. I want to reshoot that with better quality. Have a better light. I'm thinking of buying one of those big circle lights that people use for their Instagram, their... But those oh, influencers one, get one, one of those circle lights above it so you have a nice bright LED light. I know somebody you might be able to borrow that from. Who has one of those? Uh, I think uh, your brother's wife has one. Yeah. Oh, for her uh, 
It's the pictures. See, I'm very well my one. Yeah, maybe. Because she, she does a lot of costume designing and she needs to get pictures of those costumes. She's pretty, pretty artistic when it comes to wow. sewing her, her, dresses and clothing. And, yeah. her, her nickname is Crafting Spirit for a reason. Yep, Crafting Spirit is <laughs> definitely the right, the right nickname. Very, very talented. And once again, people always go, why don't you do that for a living? It wouldn't be fun if you do it for a living. No. I need outlets just to have fun and get away. Not, yeah. not everything has to be about making money. People always ask me why I didn't do photography as a living. Yeah. It's like, you're so good at taking photos, why don't you do that as a living? You know how hard it is to make a living off of photography? Well, the market is way overcrowded where we live. Yep. Oversaturated, underpaid. Yeah. And the Karens you get. The photographer is definitely a, a passion. And not You're not going to get rich off of it. I mean, there's going to be two or three photographers that, in the world that are going to get rich off of it, but not. So if you guys hire a photographer, tip them just really well, because they're, they're not making money off of you. Yes, the pictures might seem expensive, but the amount of skill it takes to take pictures that good, and the amount of work, to set the camera up right and to process those pictures to get them really good quality high-end pictures. It's not easy. It is time consuming. And like I say, you always get people that will complain or critique and it just takes the fun out of it. Yeah, any, any crafts or art, people are always like, why does it cost so much? Because it takes so long to learn that skill or so long to just do that. I was more like you took the photo wrong and then I have to with it. That's yeah, crazy. that too. Other 
So I want to clone the two terabyte onto a four terabyte one. Mm -hmm. Can I not clone that in my computer and then pop it back in here? I think you would have a problem because of Windows, but I would have to figure out. You'd have to make it a slave, I think. Yeah, yeah, you'd there. want it to boot from the hard drive, the normal hard drive still, yeah. not, not from the M2. Yeah. So the answer is probably yes, but it might be finicky. So go to the BIOS of my computer first, make it boot from that hard drive, only from that hard drive, is and then put that stuff in. Even when I moved my cell drive to another one, it took me a whole week to figure out how to do it with one software. The other one wouldn't work, and you know. And then I can take the old two terabyte and plug that into my computer, and then the computer's got more. It's reformatted. And both computers are running out of space. The laptop and the computer at home is running out of space. All I do is you do such huge, huge videos. videos. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I definitely do huge videos. <laughs> I'm so glad I have a terabyte flash card. It makes moving videos from one computer to the other much easier. And that's something we bought on the notification. I have my own flash drive, flash now, drive now. But only 250 gigabytes. No, it's 128 gigabytes. Oh, 128 gigabytes. Not even. I've got a terabyte. I know, but I'm but happy. All you need is, a, yeah, for the purposes of moving from Steam Deck to PC, yeah. yeah. You can synchronize on the cloud your Steam Deck, your Steam, but you can't move your mods within the game. Without taking forever if you reinstall them all, yeah? Either individually reinstall them all, or you have to do what I'm doing, because you can't... It's one program where it kind of Bluetooth talks, but even that's slow. You can't plug a cord in one to the other. I like a small flash drive because then you're not taking it, it's mine. Yeah. Yep, that's, I definitely don't want it. I have it on sale. And my computer tower doesn't have USB C. But the Steam Deck does, so we have one that does USB C to Yeah, one end of the stick has USB C and the other end of the stick has USB three. Yeah. Makes it very handy. Although I only use, use the USB-C on my stick because... Your, your computer tower has that. Yeah. And your laptop has it. hills are last year they were open already yeah, a lot of them want to open this week and I don't <coughs> think they will <coughs> yeah it's just not cold enough I, I, and not enough snow they, they got all their snow machines going but for all the people that love the snow sports this is not the year so far so far your chair is squeaking a lot. Oh, it's yours. oh yeah, it's mine. Uh huh. That was why I gave you the side eye there. There, I fixed it. It was the back scratcher. I was like, yeah, I know where a Canon WD40 is. I'm gonna use it. Oh, yeah. Who's all behind us? Yeah, 
is all going to zoom by or do I need to slow down a little bit? Just the one truck, maybe two back, further back. I don't think I need to slow down because it's only two vehicles and they've got lots of room to make the pass. McIntyre Bluff. Coming into, oh, what's this little pump? Gallagher Lake. Gallagher Lake. Oh, is there the G? Yeah. It has this nice little resort or whatever around the lake. Yeah, it's a little tourist trap. or whatever that you park at to do the hiking over here. Is that, like, they're no longer public or anything. Like, mm. They got it out of, they're thinking about retiring and the kids don't want to take it over, so they just are like, yep, we're closing our doors to the public. And they're like, the place that everybody goes. Uh, what's it called? I'm trying to think of it. Something Farms. <laughs> drive by the farm. Not really. We, there's a sign to the farm somewhere up ahead. Yeah. That's a Golden Lake Village. I've never heard of Golden Lake. I'm sure that's just a tourist trap of a name. train somebody out with a spray can. Yeah. And that little wine village has an ice rink in the middle. With oh, is that what that circle is? Yeah, it's, it's synthetic ice. Synthetic ice? Yeah. So you have to pay to go skate? Oh, I don't remember. Um, I think it's free, but certain hours. I think they changed what's in the circle depending on the time of year, but yeah, it's an ice rink. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. I wonder what it would feel like skating on synthetic ice. I don't know. What? I'm half tempted to buy skates again. Because there's enough skating opportunities on weekends. We would probably go, go do it if we had our own skates. I would have to learn more. I only went once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but if we had skates that fit you properly. I would. I would. Having said that, Properly fitting skates are too tight and uncomfortable. Oh. And you're only going to skate for an hour or two on them. But skates have to be very tight around your ankles to get here the support to on the blades. But yeah, I think that might be fun buying skates. I think we should try to see if we can go do the public skating again this year. I get more of a feel again. Yeah. It was a lot of fun last time. Yeah, start looking it up when there's free public skates. <coughs> Consider that done, I will. Oh, right here's the turnoff to Covert Farms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the yep. one. Covert Farms is no longer open to the public. If I'm wrong, there's a different one nearby. But it's well, that's the right one. Oh, we have that free ice skating rink by City Hall now, too. Oh, really? Remember they put no. ice to build it? No. Yeah. I don't. Um, they've been using it for roller derby and stuff, too. So, it's synthetic ice as well, or? No, I don't think that one is. It doesn't get cold enough to outdoor free rink. I have to... Do I, they have uh, water cooling underneath the ice to keep the ice cold? No, outdoor skating rink. It opened in March of last year. go skating every weekend. That one has a lot of like scheduled hockey time and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But so. there's 
We look at the schedule and see what time we go skating. I would this go skating. This is fully refrigerated. Okay. Can have rating temperatures up to plus 10 degrees Celsius. Okay. Heated washrooms. Food truck. And it's right next to City Hall there. So just bring your own skates and skate around. I like that idea. Yeah. But we know that some people will go with us too. Because that way we can be lazy and not leave town. And later on, if when we do our RVing life, there's ice rinks all over the place. We could go skate on all these people's other people's ice rinks. Now that'd be fun to meet people at ice rinks. If you want to do a meetup, it's like, hey, we'll be at this ice rink on this day at this time. We could even get the community involved and go, hey, we're headed up to your town. Is there an ice rink we could go skate at? So last year it opened on December 3rd for the season. It was open 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. And then some private events, of course. Yeah. So I have to figure out when it's opening this year. And then Lakeside Resort has the small ice rink. And then, of course, the arenas, a couple of them. Find out when the public skates are, even if we have to pay the public skate. Yeah, I wonder where I can figure it out. If you have your own skates, it's probably very cheap. Here, this one has it in here. I think, yeah, we just had to pay for the skates or something. Yeah, we had to pay for skates to rent the skates last time. So this is just to December 15th. Hmm. Wednesdays at night. Okay, Saturday, Sundays are 2 to 4 p.m. Free? Okay. One third ice available. Will we get a third of the ice rink? I don't know what that means. I'm free. I'm trying to look that. That's a different uh, thing here. <coughs> <coughs> One third of the ice, that means it's probably divided to three thirds. They put hockey nets on the opposite ends, and it's probably kids hockey or something like that. And it's $4.75 for each of us. Okay. Five bucks to go skating? I don't know why they just don't round it up to five dollars. And it costs four dollars to rent skates. So for ten dollars you can go out and skate for a couple hours. A couple hours? Welcome to Oliver. out from the boss to see when they're going to fix the bunk heat and the coolant. is designated for guardians with youth under age 5. I'm going to 
What's the other third of that? The two thirds of it will be open to the public. One third. Oh, of it one is third is for. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Here's a safe place to skate for little kids. Yeah. be fun to do meetups like that with people go hey I'll be at this public skate on this weekend if you want to come skate with us we suck at skating too so don't worry if you suck do you want to do circles around me go ahead yeah <laughs> If you want to play hockey with no gear, all, all you need is a hockey stick and skates, I will play hockey like that. We did that all the time growing up. And we just had a rule, the hockey puck must stay on the ice. If you raise the hockey puck above the ice so it, you get air time on because real hockey, you put air time on the puck all the time. Yeah. You, know, you want to get the top corner of the goal and stuff. So we just had a rule that puck stays on the ice. If you raise, then um, you're off. And every now and then, you'd make a mistake, right? And get clocked in the chins with the puck. And it would hurt. But it was every now and then, right? And we played pretty aggressive hockey with no safety gear. As long as you have a group of people that all understand the rules, it was fun. I've never played hockey. I think you'd be better playing hockey than just skating. It gives, you a, it gives you a stick to bounce <laughs> yep. on. What I was going to say, it, it might be a good thing for me. I wouldn't say I'm a beginner skater. Jess would be a be beginner skater. I'd be a medium, intermediate skater. I, I can skate. I'm just, just not very good at it. Is there it. something below beginner? <laughs> no, you're a beginner. I'm a below yeah. beginner. Because you're fine. You don't have to have chaperone the whole time. You can skate without someone holding you. Debatable. <laughs> it took me a while to get used to it last time. But it was fun. You didn't take any hard falls, right? No. Nope. Yeah, so the hard falls kind of suck. right over the pole or more like right through the pole well guys I guess that's probably a good time to end the video there see where we are tomorrow. I, I just don't know. We, we might be... It'll be Highway 3 most likely. Or we'll be in Vancouver. We'll I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the day goes. Hopefully the Monday is going decent. I'm just really glad that that leak seals itself when the hot water gets hot. And you basically have to idle it overnight. Yeah, we so. have to idle anyway to stay warm, so... I was just thinking maybe we don't need to fuel up until after we're loaded, but just in case we don't get loaded, we need to have fuel. So no, we'll stop for fuel in Grand Forks, top it off, and then we can idle overnight without worrying about fuel. Mm -hmm. 
if we don't get reloaded today. But hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. If so, tell your friends and get them to subscribe as well. Also, I'd like to say huge thank you to the new members. We've got some dark blues down there on the bottom. What, what happens after dark blue? Oh yeah, we go to light blue. And then we go to yellow. I don't think there's any yellows up there right now. Then we go to orange. After orange, we go to pink. After that, we go to red. I think Linda's like a month or two away from red. I think. Maybe a couple months away from red. Do you have a purple? Yes, purple is after that. Okay. Purple is the very last tier is purple. You know, purple royalty. Uh, now, the colors are the same colors that YouTube default is. I, I just took the default colors and kind of spazzed them up a little, sparkled them up a little. You get the little, you get the little truck logo behind your name. So if you see the people in the chat with a little truck logo behind their name, those colors match how long they've been a member for. So. Pink is two years. Orange is one year. Yellow is half a year. Green, I think something like that. I could be wrong. Because dark blue is one month. Light blue, two months. I think yellow is six months. Green is one year. Really? No, I'm not even sure. No, I'm like, you're missing something. I'm missing a number in there somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see a red up there soon. So if you guys want a sticker, go head over and hit that join button. There's a little video there. You can see which sticker I'm talking about. I stuck it to my driver's side door. Stickers on sale? Yeah, they're glitter stickers. Oh no. Glitter? Yeah. So they're like holographic but glitter? I, I, I didn't look. I was like, glitter, oh no. I'm not sure if I want glitter. I'd have to look at it. I have to do Christmas decorations out in regard to that. <laughs> Ooh, mail you a sticker. So if you're at the $5 tier. But it's nice to see a couple more of you guys dropping in there. We are at $4,017 a debt right now. So that number is rapidly going down. Thank you to you guys for, for just for watching to the end of the video. And so I get the ads and for members that pay the monthly fee, give me monetary money for if you guys really like this. So thank you for that. Super thanks. Super thanks, yep, super thanks is the silver on the bottom of the credits there. Um, super thanks, if you give me a super thanks of any amount, you show up on there for a month. If you don't want to do the join monthly monthly thing, just throw a super thanks down below and your name will show up down below for a month at the end of the credits. Um, what else? Is that everything? Check out our other channels. Click the see more button. There's links down there. Anyway, we're out of here. What? What are you smiling about? What? The longest goodbyes. Yeah, oh, I don't know how to hang up. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at hanging up. I, I don't know how to end phone calls. Okay. I really don't want to honk at the car in front of us, but we're going to, so we're out of here. You guys absolutely rock. Adios. <laughs>